Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to make your computer run like new in four easy steps. This is exactly what the computer stores will charge you an hour or two for. Not too hard to do. There are four steps. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and do them in order, please. There's a reason for the order. First thing we're going to do is remove unused apps, any apps you've installed or any apps you don't want. We're going to download right here, iobit uninstaller or hibit uninstaller, my two favorites. This is my personal desktop. You can see I'm using iobit uninstaller here. So let's fire that up and let's remove something. There's two places to look. We're going to keep it simple for you. All programs and Windows apps. Now with Windows apps, you want to take a look for that little hidden arrow if it's hidden. And these are all the apps that come with Windows 10 that you might not need. So feel free to click one. And when you do, you click on install. Now, if you have a lot of apps you need to remove, let's be a little careful here. Don't do more than, let's say, three to five apps at a time. So it might take you a little bit of time to get through this. I've had trouble where I've tried to remove 10, 15 of them where the program just freezes up. Typically, you know, that's why you're here. Your computer's not running very well. So obviously trying to uninstall 10 things at once is probably a little too much for your computer. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's find something random here. I don't know. Let's take the Rockstar Game Social Club out. Now you see I can click it. I can click multiples. So again, three to five. And once you have that done, click uninstall. Verify that automatically remove residual files is there. This is why we're using an uninstaller. When we're done, it's going to remove all your files, folders, and registry entries, keeping your computer much cleaner than it would be if you use Windows. Click uninstall. Now you can see it's doing it automatically, but sometimes perfect. This will come up. So you have to interact with it. A lot of apps will just automatically remove without any interaction from you. So if you see this stuff, click close. And then sometimes you won't notice it'll be down here where it pops up in the background. So if you don't see the program moving, check that. Sometimes it can be a little slow. As you can see, we uninstalled one program to give you an example. Now you can close that. Let's go see what's up. So go ahead and just do those two again. If you really want to, you can spend the time looking at large programs recently installed and bundleware. Feel free. Again, we're just covering the basics. There's a video on using iobit uninstaller right here. It's a couple years old, but if you want to walk through on that, feel free. Now, we got all the junk out of here. Let's get rid of some more files by deleting junk files. There's a billion programs out there to clean them, but we're going to use CCleaner. And the reason for that is we're going to use that for step two and step three. So get the installer or portable. If you don't want to download it, click this link right here. How to use storage sense. That's windows 10. Again, another video tutorial here for you. It's not very effective, but you can use that to clean junk files. Not a big fan. All right. So when you start C cleaner, it's going to want to do a health check. It's kind of a new annoying thing that it does. And essentially, if you can, you might have to run it one time with a next, 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 or skip to start. If you have to do it, do it. Otherwise, we're going to go to custom clean. You have Windows and you have applications. I'll tell you what, CCleaner does a really good job of figuring all this stuff out. You probably, if you want, can just skip it and click run cleaner. If you like, feel free to browse through it. Some of the stuff here under Windows is a little bit more for advanced users. Click run. And technically what it's doing now is it's actually scanning to see what's out there. It's not going to delete anything yet. Now you can look and make sure you're happy and you can uncheck or check more things at this point if you want. But again, for simplicity, click run cleaner. And you're done. Now again, we're moving to step three. So keep C cleaner open. And as you can see here, we're going to manage startup stuff. So once again, we can do simple and we can get a little more complex if you're feeling froggy. You know what I mean? So let's go look at tools right here and let's go to startup. This is something that slows your computer down pretty good. And that's all your startup things. So there's a good chance you might have a whole pile of them. So now here's the next problem. Which ones do you remove? Which ones do you disable to play it safe? You want it disabled. So let's say, I don't know what this is. If you have a ton of them, I wouldn't spend too much time on this, but I can see the executable name. So I will open up a new window and I will type in, did I spell that right? Let me check. Double 
check. Where is it? Here it is. Quite RSS. There you go. So now you can see what it is. That's up to you. So I can tell that that is a newsfeed program. So if I don't want that running at startup, that gives me the option to click disable. You can always come back later and click delete if you're sure. But here's what I would do. Take them one at a time. And you know what? It's just great just to get rid of some of them. There's a lot of standard stuff people will always disable, like printer stuff and automatic updates, etc. So just take it one at a time. Do a few of them, reboot, make sure everything's okay, and take your time. Uh, a guy in a computer store would be more familiar with stuff, so he'd do it faster. Now, you also notice we have scheduled tasks, context menu, Windows services. Real quickly going to touch on this. Scheduled tasks, you might be able to find some stuff in there. The skip UAC is a good thing. Leave that be. If you recognize something you don't use, feel free to once again click disable. But again, for simplicity, if you just stick with the Windows, things will work out good. There's nothing really in the context menu that's going to help you with performance. Windows services were getting a little tricky here. You really should kind of know what you're doing with the Windows services. We have a page that actually lists all the services, and I'll add that link in here, but I wouldn't mess around with it too much right now. So there we go. We're almost done. Obviously, it's going to take you a little bit longer. Let's get down to number four. Number four is an interesting one. It's defragmenting your hard drive. If you have an F SSD drive, you don't need it. You could use a program like Smart Defrag right here which can help improve your SSD trim and manage your defragmentation. It works really, really well. However, the rest of us can open Windows Explorer or File Explorer. Right click on your drive and hit Properties. And when you see this, you want to click on the Tools tab right there. And depending if you're Windows 7, 8, 10, it might look a little bit different. I took a screenshot here, as you can see, in 7, and it just says defragment now. In Windows 10, it's optimize and defragment. I hate to mess around with it myself because I have an SSD drive and it thinks it needs optimization. I'd rather leave it be. I just typically don't mess with it. Or I'm lying. I, sometimes I do it, but, you know, then people tell me I'm wrong. Blah. So there you go. Now, if optimization is off, go ahead and turn it on, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. And honestly, that's pretty much about it. Now, I'm going to add some links in here as well to purchase SSD drives through Amazon. We get an affiliate sale from that. And the reason for that is if you don't have an SSD drive, all this work you just did and your computer's still not running right, iComputer boots in about 12 seconds. And as you can see, when I let's close File Explorer, when I open up, there's no sitting around going, gee, I wonder how long it'll take to open. See what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter what I want. I want to open my virtual machine, which is pretty memory and CPU intensive. Boom, it's right up there. Just to give you an example, WinRAR. And I need, I'm need i due for a reboot, so to me it's actually snapping a little bit slow right now. Just to give you an idea how fast things go with an SSD hard drive. If you're not familiar with them, go ahead and right here, there's a little information for you, how to check if your drive is an SSD or not. And some information about SSD trim. Really look into an SSD hard drive. You'll thank me later. And I don't say that lightly. There you have it. So there's four pretty easy steps, I think, to literally speed up your computer, clean things up, get rid of startup apps, just exactly like a computer tech would do. So there you have it. Bottom right-hand corner, Major Geeks logo should be showing up right about now, if it hasn't already. If you click on that, you can click subscribe. Share it with your friends. We appreciate you watching. As always, have a good one. See ya.